Hello guys and welcome to more Let's Play Terraria Blind. As always, this is Ray and we're going to get started here. And I want to apologize for the speed up slash music at the end of the last video. That wasn't what was planned. Uh, my kids ran in the room screaming bloody murder. And so I had to mute the uh, audio real quick. And I was so busy dealing with them that when I came back I forgot to turn it back on. So that's what happened there. Um... But I believe I captured the essence of pretty much everything I was talking about in the text boxes. So, if I miss anything, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to. That's just how it happened. But one of the biggest things that I, 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 uh, I guess, postulated <laughs> is that the more rare ores are going to be farther down, just like was the original when I was looking for my first doors, like the gold and the silver, and then further down was the the demon ore, and and um, then the hellstone. So, first things first, I'm actually I'm gonna go break some more of these altars. Now, I do know that I need at least one to make the boss summoners. I did see that, so. I'm going to try to leave one of them. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to leave the first one I come across, just to be safe. So, we're going to head over that way. And unfortunately, I believe we have to cross the hallow to get there. So, that part's going to suck. Because those unicorns are freaking crazy. Speak of the devil. <laughs> you heard me talking about you, didn't you? Ow! He's got a laser. He's in my, he's in my hollow, firing his laser. All right. Apparently, I missed some cobwebs the last time I was through here. Ouch! Stay close to him. Doesn't seem to fire when I'm close to him. Oh, I'm getting chased by one now. Oh boy. Alright. But yeah, today, today was an interesting day. It was very busy at work. And then when we got home, my wife wanted to go eat at a, a burger joint. I'm not gonna name any names of the burger joint because I you know one I don't wanna give away any, like, endorsements, I guess you can call it. Let's heal. And then for two, some bad things happen sometimes, so I don't want to, don't want to make them feel bad, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, we went to the burger joint, and they cook their burgers to order. So, I like my burgers medium. I know a lot of you people, <laughs> they're probably already going, ew, medium. I like it. You know, a lot of people like it done or well done or they're pretty much the same thing. One's just burnt and the other's just overcooked. But anyway, back to the story. <laughs> I ordered my burgers medium and I never, hardly ever get my order right when I go anywhere because I order it medium. I expect it to be that way when I eat the food. I don't think that's too much to ask, really. I mean, I'm not, like, one of those super picky people that if it's, like, halfway between medium and medium well, I'm going to send it back. No, I, I mean, I'm, I'm reasonable about it. But, anyway, the whole time I've ever gone to this place, I think they've got my order right once. But they make really good burgers. And I've always had to have them recook it. Well, this time was no exceptions. But the funny part about it was, is the right when we walked in, the manager saw me, and I mean, we haven't been going to this place that long, but he recognized me. <laughs> and his, uh, the first thing he said was, "Why does your face look familiar?" He goes, "I think I've seen you before." Oh, that's awesome. Sorry. I said, "Yeah." I said, "That's because you know I've talked to you before because they messed up my orders every time I come here." So he made it a point to tell the waiter and. They all, everybody in there, 
that was working that night that waited on us knew that hey you know this guy's order is always wrong trying to make it right yada 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 well long story short my order was messed up again <laughs> my wife started getting mad about it I don't know why <laughs> cobalt my wife started getting mad because I sent it back and of course it got taken off the ticket and everything but she started getting really mad about it and I'm like she's like well next time you need to order it uh, medium rare and I told her, no, I'm not going to order it medium rare. I want it medium. I order it medium. It should be medium. So I don't know. But it was so funny because while I was eating the burger, they, the waiter and the manager come over like three or four times and asked me if the burger was good. And I hadn't touched it yet because I, I tend to eat a lot of my sides before I touch my burger because I like the last thing you know I eat to be the, the main course. I like, I like to like to enjoy it at the very end of my meal. I'm weird like that, I guess. But, yeah, they they come over like four or five times and ask me how my meal was, even though I hadn't touched it. And then when I actually bit into it, it took forever to get somebody to come back by. <laughs> so that was, that was I found that amusing, but my wife was irritated, so I don't know. Do you guys think I'm unreasonable? I'm sure you'll let me know. I mean, I've worked in food service. I know how it can be. But... And if it wasn't a place, if it's a place that, hey, they don't advertise cooked order, you know what, that's fine, I'll eat it done. That's not how I like it. I probably won't even order a burger, because I like a medium. But if you advertise cooked to order, it better be cooked to order. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm an asshole, I don't know. I'm sure you will, you will let me know in the comments, one way or the other. Like, yes, Ray, you are completely correct. Your food should be exactly the way you ordered it because that's what you are paying for. Or, no, Ray, you are a dick. <laughs> you should take it and be happy that you have food. Oh, good lord. Those slime ones are kicking my butt. Look at that. Two potions. So, that's my short story for the day's events. And this drill is crazy. At least it's faster, I guess. Now, I hope this is how I get the, the green stuff, which I am assuming is Mithril. As I stated in the, well, I didn't state, as I typed in the pop-up text boxes, um, that was my guess simply because the order in which it, my world was blessed. It was first blessed with Cobalt and then with Mithril and then blessed with Adamantite. So, and it's... Everything else in this game is logically sound so far, so I don't know. That's my guess. We will find out one way or the other. Good lord, look at all these guys. We'll just stand here in the hole. And jump up and down like an idiot. <laughs> I'm blind. Yay! Alright. I think this is the hole I fell down. That one time I almost fell to my death. <laughs> oh, we got some cobalt over there. And I'm going to need some cobalt because of that light disc thing. So, let's make our way over to this. Alright. I wonder how far down the shaft goes. And, uh, yeah, one of you guys, one of my friends, actually, commented on my video. He thought, thought maybe I recorded some off-camera because that corruption spread so fast. No, I started up the game, went straight down the hole right after I beat the wall, and that's what I found. Sorry if you don't believe me, bud. Alright, show you up. Man, that is loud. Actually, I want to ch change something in my settings here. Um, I can't. Not while I'm here. Oh well. Next time I'm going to turn the music back up a little bit. I turned it down because it was very overpowering. And then it's actually a little too low now. So I want, I want the music to be heard in my videos. I didn't realize that it was that bad. Because when I'm listening to it, when I'm, when I'm rendering them out, I can hear it just found. Strong ball of hurt. Um, pixie dust. Where'd that go? 
Oh, it's a, it's a, one of those uh, flails, I guess you call them. Big thing with the ball on them. All right. Man, this fine mix is so much easier. Underground corruption. The music's a little different. Just like a spider. Crawling on the walls. Get away from that thing. Juggle him against the wall. There we go. Come on, get closer, buddy. There we go. Alright. This is actually quite interesting doing it this way. It's different. It's not the way I usually approach things. So, there's something splashing around the water, though. I wonder what that is. I'm sure I will find it soon enough. Uh, ah, look. More cobalt. Drill and baby drill. And no, it's not oil. So I think those green jellyfish are actually new, aren't they? I don't remember seeing green ones before. They're radioactive. <laughs> Apparently, uh, uranium is released into the world as well. I just don't know about it. Oh, looks like we've got something over there. We'll take a look in just a second. Let's get the rest of this cobalt. But yeah, another person also said I should go back to the um, the floating island now that I've unlocked hard mode. And I probably will, just not right now. I want to get my armor a little tougher. Hopefully I can make a set of armor. I, yeah, so hopefully I can get the mithril or something this episode and get that made. Alright, this is just standard boring stuff, isn't it? Yay, I dug through the wall for nothing. It looks like there's another demon altar down there. Alright, so let's do this. And let's suspend ourselves in the middle. And kill all these guys before they can even reach me. There we go. Green jellyfishes. I don't think I've actually ever stayed in the water long enough for one of those to attack me. Jellyfish, that is. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Literally. Well, except it's jellyfish, and it's not a barrel. Alright, guy, come on. Ouch. World of feeders. Got another shadow orb there. Adamantite. Of course. These guys are annoying. But what can I do, right? We can dig down. And that's about it. I can't see what I'm missing there. This ebon stone's really hard to see around. A little harder than you would think. Alright, that just looks like normal area over there. We're going to try to stay around the corruption. That worked for me last time, staying around the, the hollow. Alright, get some air. Alright. I'm going to work our way down here. Now, I don't want to break this shadow orb, though. Mainly because... I think I'm at just one, but <laughs> I'm not sure, and I don't really want to fight something all the way down here. I wish there was a way to find out how many you were at. Alright, back down. So I'm just glad that these things don't give me ominous messages like these orbs did. That would have been fun. Alright. Torch. There we go. Now I can see what the heck I'm doing. Mm, excuse me. Something's trying to shoot at me. You hear that? Huh. 
don't know what it is because they can't reach me, but. And these drills are actually kind of slow. Mainly because. I don't know, maybe the noise is throwing me off, I don't know. Yeah, it seems the noise is throwing me off because when I. When I'm pretty good at getting it, it works fast. I just have a hard time hitting them all. Because the drill's so big, I can't. I have a hard time seeing behind it as well. Alright, pwn that thing. Cobalt. It shoots through that sand real quick, though, doesn't it? Oh, look. More cobalt. And our friend, the. Uh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> the, that guy. Come on. Hey, knucklehead. There was sand above that. And there was one above that, too. <laughs> Man, get over here. Thank you. Come die, at least. If you're going to attack, at least have the decency to come die properly. So, yeah, it does pretty good. It's just I suck at it. <laughs> Oh no, Ray, you suck again. Yep, it happens. Sorry. I'm not I'm not super pro. I'm just a gamer, just like you guys. That happens to be playing a game that you're watching. Whee. Take that sand out. I need this cobalt. More sand. Man, sand is fast. Wish it were that quick in other games. I think you know which game I'm referring to, people. Alright. I'm not seeing anything important this way. I like how that lights up through the wall. It makes things a lot easier. Makes my life a lot easier, at the very least. Alright, I think we're going to head back up now. Maybe try a different shaft. Spider Man, Spider Man climbs up the walls like no one can. Man, this is awesome. Did I ever mention how awesome this is, being able to do it this way? Oh yeah. Epic wall climbing. Oh, there's some down there too. Cool, cool. Yeah, I should have probably checked to see how much I needed before I left. <laughs> oh well. Hindsight 2020 and all. It only takes three to make a bar, though, which is kind of cool. I mean, yeah, I've got quite a bit already. And did I remember? Yeah, I got my wood this time. It made me so mad last time. I don't know if I had made actually got to comment or that was something that was deleted. But, uh, yeah, I forgot my freaking wood. I need more torches. I had no wood. I had gel coming out the ear, just no wood. There we go. That's faster. Wish it would just drill in front of you if you were standing there. That would be pretty cool. Although I could see where that could be a problem too. You wouldn't want to drill your platform out from underneath you if you if you just tilted your house down. People would be complaining and they would be right to do so. So Oh god. Man! I really did not see that one. Still hurt like hell though. What the hell is this? Oh, that's cursed flames. How long have those been there? I don't remember. Oh, I killed the worm. That's why. Is there any? I can't tell. I'm just gonna flood it. Sounds good to me.
Um, no, but there's one down there and one down there. Okay, so let's go get it. Come and get it, Ray. Come and get it. Pwn hammer. Come on, Mithril. Hopefully it makes it easy to find when I get down that far. Come on. You've had the decency to die quickly. So one thing I don't like about the drill, I guess they did this on purpose. It doesn't swing around my head, so I can't keep mobs at bay with just all mining. Alright, I'm starting to not be able to pick stuff up. Not a good thing. Not when you're wanting to go further down. So we're probably going to end up leaving some stuff in the trash. Well, like, I'm sure I can leave some of that sand and stuff. I don't really need it. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's not, yeah, that's not it. Some breath. Kill a worm. All that is work. <sighs> Destroy some ebon stone. Place a torch. See a giant thing trying to eat me. Oh, it does hurt him. Just not as fast. Well, it is fast actually. <laughs> Not as uh, wide of a range, I should say. Alright. I don't want someone to walk out onto. I'll come over here. Hmm. Oops. Wanted to light up with that. Okay, looks fine to me. Another one. All right, drill through this wall. Why is he staying down there? That's weird. Did he know I killed all his brothers? Oh, here he comes. Definitely not as scared as some of these guys as I first was when I seen them, though. Those guys kind of creeped me out. And I just had a feeling they could fly through blocks when I saw it down there. Because it's a ghost, right? Ghosts go through anything. Cobalt. Yeah, all the music kind of sounds technoized. <laughs> if that's an, even a word. Oh, water at the bottom of every one of these? That's weird. Hmm. I'm not even going to bother going down further. I might have to go back to the other area to get down further. There we go. Let's do it that way. Screw you. Well, there's like two of them down here. There's more stuff that way. Oh, there's one over there too I missed. Whew. It's almost better if I'm where I could chew with that one. Wonder why how that guy's getting hurt. Hear that? Possessed armor sounds like getting hit by something. Alright. I think it's due time to get out of here. Right. This 
Whirling Blade of Death. Yeah, that's what time it is. Okay. I also had a guy I work with. He was watching my video. He says, why do you walk along and swing your sword like a crazy man? Well, that's because if I'm just swinging my sword like crazy, I don't really have to focus on swinging my sword. And I can spend more time dodging the attacks of the enemy. I figured it was a lot more efficient waste use of my time to not get hit in the first place. And then just have uh, hitting the enemy just be incidental. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go back home. We're going to unload some of this crap. Because that's pretty much what most of it is, is crap. So now that I broke a lot of these things, um, I can actually focus my efforts on looking for the ore. So that should help a lot. Um, I'll just turn that into cobalt bars before I do that. Quick stack. I like the quick stack button. It's like the best thing on this game. <laughs> Uh thing is just simply amazing. I need to sell these stupid arrows. I'm just filling up my ding inventory. Hmm. One's light, one's dark. Maybe one and the other cancel each other out. I don't know. It was a thought I had the other day just thinking about the game after I unlocked the hard mood. Only 40 wood? Oh, that's... Oh, ho, 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 clever. It's because I had wood in one of these chests. There you go. I want to take a full stack of wood, thanks. <laughs> Don't want to make that mistake again. Alright. Forge. We shall scroll to the bottom. There we go. Cobalt. Cobalt bar. Say that ten times fast. 52. Is that going to be enough? Let's go Let's go ask the guide how much it takes to make one of those things. Hello, Brian. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Alright, so to make a disc takes 10 bars, which I actually have what I need for that. Um, yeah, those don't really interest me. <laughs> Chainsaw. Material? Material? Huh. What can you be used in? Holy God! 